And now the starting lineup, number four, batting first, Harley Torres. Batting second, number 12, Myra Robles. Batting third, number 10, Christina Salinas. At cleanup, number seven, Mariah Moore. Batting fifth, number 11, Melody Beck. Batting sixth, number six, Caitlin Barrington. Batting seventh, number 17, Kaylee Sullivan. Batting eighth, number two, Fallon Hall. And batting ninth, number one, Abby Abraham. Along with number 13, Shelby Downey. And the Bash Out Bears are coached by assistant coach Brock Hart, assistant coach Petrie, and assistant coach McGree, along with head coach Morgan. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing your men or Mustang lineup. Today is substitute junior number six, Delia De Los Santos. As substitute junior number eight, Haley Alvarez. Substitute freshman number 10, Tania Clark. Substitute junior number 18, Demaya Curtis. And now your starting lineup for the Mustangs at center field, freshman number five, Jamie Gomez. Catcher, freshman number seven, Mia Macias. At third base, junior number 13, Marlene Rodriguez Mije. Second base, freshman number 14, Destiny Ruffin. First base, junior number nine, Katrina Masta. Shortstop, senior number two, Mia Gomez. At left field, junior, number one, Iris Jimenez. Right fielder, freshman, number four, Esmeralda Valdez. And taking the mound is pitcher, senior, number three, Alexis Gee. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you please rise and remove your hats as today we honor today's game with the playing of our national anthem. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Maynard High School. We've got some high school softball coming up for you this evening between Maynard and Bastrop. I am Jack Farrell, joining you here on this fine Tuesday afternoon in Maynard, Texas. Beautiful weather for some softball. It's 79 degrees the time here for your first pitch. I am joined by my QA this afternoon, Miss Rosie Vega. She will be on the line for us, making sure everything runs nice and smooth. Alexis Gee getting the start here. Okay. 
So yes, excuse me, Alexis Gee getting the start here for the Mustangs. I'd like to thank you for tuning in here on Vipe Live. Your first pitch here tonight will be brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors. Gear up this spring at Academy Sports and Outdoors. We'll bring up Arlie Torres, the leadoff hitter for Bastrop. Bastrop with the dark gray pants. Got some maroon jersey tops there. Gray stripes down the sleeves, gray numbers outlined in white. Here's the pitch. A little swinging bunt will get down, rolls to the catcher. Throw to first is wide, and Torres going to have to Hurry back to the bag, well backed up by the right fielder there. Esmeralda Valdez. But Torres will be on with an infield single, basically, which brings up number 12, Myra Robles. So one on with nobody out. That pitch low in the dirt for ball one. This one's chopped foul down the third baseline, drifting in play but out of the reach of the Mustang defense. So that's strike one to Robles. He steps back to the rubber, delivers the 1-1. Misses for ball two. Umpire steps back in. He stepped off. Wasn't sure if that pitch actually counted, but I believe it did. So it's a 2-1 count. Swing and a miss, strike two. Got her. Strike three. Swing and a miss. They'll have to throw the runner back. She'll be back safely, though. So after allowing the leadoff runner to get on, Gee is in for her first strikeout of the game. Number 10, Christina Salinas. Salinas in now. Right-handed batter. First pitch misses for a ball. Throw back to the runner again. Torres able to get in safely. This one's chopped to third base. Throw over is wide. Both runners will advance. Torres to third. Salinas is going to make her way to second base. Now Torres is going to make her way home as the throw to third base was wide. They try to get her at third, and the tag is not down. So run scores, and runner is safe at first base. Or excuse me, at third base. So in the first inning, Lady Bears have a one to nothing lead. Salinas safe at third base, so one out, one runner on third base for number seven, Mariah Moore. Meeting at the mound here for the Mustangs. Up next for the Bears, number seven, Mariah Moore. Moore steps in, swings at the first pitch that's popped high into the air on the infield. And catcher can't make the play. So Moore will have another opportunity here at the plate after fouling off the first pitch. Got around early on that one, strike two.
the 0-2 delivery. He's hit through the infield. Another run will score. But they get it into second. So a runner will have to hold. So here in the first inning, Bears already with a two-run lead. Is that one hit through that same spot? As this one gets under the glove of the left fielder, runner going to come around third to score. And Beck is in safe at second base. More of the Bear coming around to score there. It's 3-0. Brings up number six, Caitlin Barrington. She fouls that one off. Barrington hits this one, and that'll land safely. Runner will have to stay. But Barrington gets on with a little infield single of her own. This is quickly already the seventh batter that the Bears have sent to the plate. And it will be Kaylee Sullivan. So two on with one out. Here's the pitch. First pitch swinging is fouled off to first base side. The 1-0 misses low for a ball. Count evens up 1-1. Still just one out here for Maynard. The pitch. That one's hit on the infield. It's going to be a tough play. And no throw to first base as everyone's safe. Runners move station to station. Beck to third. Barrington to second. And Kaylee Sullivan, another infield single. She's safe at first. Now coach coming out of the dugout to with the well with the whole infield now at the mound. Talking things over. Defense struggling here in the first inning. Not making some of those routine throws. If they can meet up here at talk things out, get things straightened, try to mitigate the damage and get your bats in the box in the next half of the inning. I think number two, Fallon Hall. Fallon Hall steps in. Her first pitch swung on, popped into the stands. Everyone, heads up. That lands in the grass harmlessly. So this one's hit to second. Can't come up with it. The bounce ate her up a little bit. Run scores. Everyone safe once again. Now 4 nothing here in the top of the first. Still just one out, runners on all bags. This one's fouled off, off the catcher's helmet. Strike one. Gee's throwing strikes, at the very least. She's not walking everybody, but Bastrop just really has her timing down right now. But they're not getting a lot of hard contact, just a lot of weak contact that infield's just having some trouble with. Strike two.
That one's hit to second base. They get the force at third, but the runner will score. Excuse me, that was hit over to the third base side. Misspoke there. But now 5 nothing. as Barrington four, skips home. Sullivan is out there at third. This one's hit weakly. Throw over to first is not in time. So bases reloaded here. They have officially batted around here. Now to the number two hitter, Maya Robles, again. That one misses for a ball. Robles, her first time up, was a strikeout victim, was the first out of the inning. This one is foul. So Torres at first, Fallon Hall over there at third base. That one's fouled back, Robles, 2-2 two -two count. Ball three, the count goes full, but they get the runner at third base on the throwback. So Fallon Hall gunned down at third, will end the inning, but not before. Bastrop scores five. He sent 11 batters to the plate here in the top of the first inning. We are going to go ahead and send it to the bottom of the second. It's five to nothing in favor of Bastrop. You're listening to Mainer Softball on Vibe Live. We'll be right back. KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VIPE.com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 13, not yet, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to Vibe, VIPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vibevype.com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Back into the action here, bottom of the first inning. Bears started things off hot. 5 nothing lead for them. Sent 11 batters to the plate. Brings up Jamie Gomez for Maynard here to lead things off. He's going to try and get things going. Making sure we've got all the positions right out here on the field. Didn't quite.
quite get the right lineup card for Bastrop. So we're trying to adjust here on the fly. The first pitch for Robles misses high for ball one. Myra, Myra Robles, the pitcher here for Bastrop. Looks like Arlie Torres, the leadoff hitter, is standing over there at second base as this one's swung on, fouled back, and out of play. Count one and one. Salinas over at first base for the Bears. Number 17, Kaylee Sullivan at third. So here's the one one. So that's going to miss high for ball two. The two one. Two two. Gomez calls for time as she steps in. This one's fouled back into the screen. She'll stay alive. Two two once again. That one's high. Count goes full with nobody out. Be a big help for Manor if they could get the leadoff hitter on here. Gomez steps in. Chops this one back to the pitcher. Well fielded by Robles. Easy throw over. Got the out. So ground out to first base for Gomez. For out number one. That'll bring up Catcher freshman number seven, Mia Macias. Well, what he said, Mia Macias. Catcher. Uh, number seven. Of course, her first time up today. Looking to start off on a strong note. And that she does. That one's hit well. Grounder to left field. She'll stay at first. But a one-out single for Mia Macias. Gets things going. For the Mustangs, brings up Marlene Rodriguez Meiche. So one on with one out to the three hitter. Playing out at third base today. Takes the first pitch for strike one. Runner goes, throw down to second, not in time. And the Mustangs have a runner in scoring position here at second base. This one's hit foul down the third baseline. Now a ball in two strikes. again early on it. Foul ball. Same spot. This one's once again fouled off. Runner started to go there. Grounder to third, throw over, will advance the runner as the throw is not in time. It gets away from her, and she's going to be able to scamper home. So Macias scores the first run of the ball game. So the grounder advanced the runner. 
but the errant throw got the runner home. But now two outs as they do get her at first base. Destiny Ruffin now at the plate. Foul ball strike one. So now the bases are empty. Check swing, she lost the bat. <laughs> now a ball and a strike. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss, strike two to the Mustangs second baseman. Katrina Basta on deck. We'll see if she'll have the opportunity. That one misses ball two. The 2-2, two -two. fouled back. She stays alive with two outs. Here's the pitch. This one's hit high into the air. Playable for center. And that's the put out. So one run scores on one base hit for Maynor. They get one back. It's 5-1. We head to the top of the second. You are listening to Mustang Softball on the Vibe Live Network. We'll be right back. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcast. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vipe.com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, VYPE.com. VYPE.com. Hey buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to VIPEBYPE.com and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at VIPEBYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcast. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vipevype.com. We go to inning number two. Two, three, four hitters up for the Lady Bears as the first pitch goes for a ball to Myra Robles. First time up in the first inning, she struck out. In fact, she was uh, she was at the plate when Fallon Hall was gunned down at third base to end the top of the first for the Bears. So Robles will have another opportunity here. She's looking at a 1-1 count right now. Robles, pretty good inning of pitching there in the bottom of the first for the Lady Bears. That's strike two. One-two count to the pitcher. Gee's delivery. 
on the one two upstairs. That one's hit high down the left field line, but foul. Bastrop unable to get over there in time. Salinas on deck for the Lady Bears. The 2-2 two -two once again. That one's hit directly back to the pitcher, comebacker, and easy out. Nice heads-up play from Gee there. Robles is over two. Number 10, Christina Salinas. Salinas, her last time up in the first. She reached via an error on the third base for the Mustangs. Here's the pitch. That misses the ball one. That one's laced foul down the third baseline. Some good contact there for Salinas. In that three spot, playing at third base today. Or excuse me, at first base. Hitting third, playing first. It's not helpful that number to first base is three. Another ball there, two and one. Pitch from Gee, grounder to third base. The throw over. That one is right on the money. Excellent job that time from Marlene Rodriguez Miche. Gets Salinas for out number two. Ryan Moore now up. She singled her first time up for the Bears. This one's hit to center field over the head of all Mustangs, and that'll be, she's going to third, throw over, is in time, and they've got her down. So base running error gets the Mustangs out of the inning. As they get Mariah Moore trying to stretch three, she was, she was good there for a double, stand-up double even, but Get her at third, so much better second inning for the Manor Mustangs as they go one, two, three. We are headed to the bottom of the second. Four, five, six headers up for the Mustangs. We'll take a quick break. We'll be right back. Bike Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at BikeBYPE com. Bike is the leader in high school sports broadcast. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3 not yet Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone, touchdown Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to VipeVYPE.com. Vipe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcast. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vipevype.com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Thank you. 
back in for the bottom of the second. Quick correction, actually going to be five, six, seven hitters due up for the Mustangs. Katrina Basta. Baseman, junior number nine, Katrina Basta. Will be the leadoff hitter. He's playing over at first base today. Robles back on the mound. First pitch of the second misses inside. Basta taking a couple practice cuts here. That one swung on and fouled off to the right side. Another foul ball off to the right side. This one well hit over the fence. So now two strikes to Basta. She's also looking at a ball here for the leadoff spot. Mia Gomez is going to be on deck here for the Mustangs. The one-two from Robles. It's hit to short. Charging up on it. Makes a throw, but she's pulled off the bag. That's safe. Started off very well for Mariah Moore. Got a good jump, a good read on the ball, but just pulled her first baseman, Salinas, off the bag. Shortstop, senior number two, Mia Gomez. So we'll rule that one as a as an infield single to Basta on the was a tough play to be made. So we'll give that give that a hit as Gomez steps in now. It's her first time at the plate today. It's so with one on and no outs. We have a discussion with the umpire over here on the first base side. And we're good to go. First pitch swung on. It's a right field, but playable. And there to collect the out. That's Shelby Downey playing out there in right field. I don't think she's uh she's not in the hitting lineup, but she's out there in right field. Get Gomez to fly out to nine, and this is a hit through the gap. Runner going to third. Throw too high, she's safe. So runners at the corners here with one out in the second inning for the Mustangs. Hamida has jumped on that one. She advances Boss all of the way over to third base there. She's one for one with a single. Brings up Esmeralda Valdez playing in right field for the Mustangs. A freshman stepping into the box. Rope Blaze delivers. First pitch, swung on through the infield. One run will score. Runner will stay at second. So on that one, Jimenez moves from first to second. Valdez reaches. And Basta scampers all the way home. So crawling back into it are the Mustangs. It's now 5-2. Pitcher Gee 
Going to get her first cuts in with two on, one out. First pitch misses. Both runners will advance as it gets away from the catcher. So Jimenez to third, Valdez to second. Already three hits in the inning for the Mustangs. Gee looks to keep it going. She's looking good so far. Takes the first two. She's got a 2-0 count. Here's the pitch. Swung on, hit directly back to the pitcher. Everyone gets back to their back safely. So both pitchers are now victims of line outs to pitcher. Robles did it her for the first out in the second inning. Now Gee does it for the second out in the second inning. Well, the bottom of the second. Brings up the top of the order, Jamie Gomez. Her first time up, she grounded out to the pitcher. So no balls and a strike to Gomez. Going to bring another runner home. Takes that for strike two. She's quickly in a deep hole here. Five two. Robles looking to get out of the inning. Gomez won't go down that easy. She stays alive with a foul ball. Still an 0-2 count, still two outs. Runners in scoring position at second and third base. Valdez there at second. Jimenez there at third. Here's another 0-2 from Robles. That one's hit through and over the infield. One runner scores. Another will come home. Two runners will score. And we've got a whole new ball game here. Gomez reaches on a single over the infield. Brings home Jimenez and Valdez. Catcher, freshman number seven, Mia Macias. It's a two RBI single for Gomez. Macias now up with just one runner on now. It's still two outs. This one's hit high into the air. Playable. Shortstop calls it off, and she is there to make the play. Good job from her, ranging over to get that when Mariah Moore makes the final out of the inning as Macias pops it up to the shortstop. That'll do it. However, not before. Three runs score on four hits for the Mustangs. We move to the top of the third inning. It is now 5-4, a whole new ball game. And we'll be right back. Fight Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at fightvype.com. Fight is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3 13, not yet another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. What takes the Wilson? She fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull a hit by one. Log on to fightvype.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vibevype.com. Top three. 
Melody Beck leading off for the Bears, or the Lady Bears, excuse me. It's five, six, seven hitters to start things off in the third. Gee back on the mound for the Mustangs. Ball one, good stop though for Macias. It's ball one, counts one and oh. The 1 0. Hit well, that'll get down. Won't be able to get past the right fielder, so that's just a single. Nice job for Valdez tracking that thing down, limit, limiting it to just a single. Brings up Barrington. Her first time up, she singled it in the first inning. She also came around to score a run. Is that one? Line just short. They will have an opportunity to get her back at on the tag, but throw not in time. Heads up base running there for Beck to get back to first. But Barrington lines out to shortstop for the first out of the inning. Brings up Sullivan. Sullivan's first time up. She singled and... Uh, was victim of a fielder's choice at third base. Knocked down at third. They throw, but it's not in time. Very close. But just a titch late. A si uh, Sullivan going to reach with another infield single here. Third, number two, Fallon Hall. Fallon Hall last time up. She reached via a single and was thrown out at third base on the throw over from home. This time she takes pitch one for a ball. Runners at first and second for her. This one's popped up and out of play. That was very loud. It's the first strike to Fallon. She's got a ball strike and one out. Two runners on. Lady Bears with a one-run lead here, 5-4. This one's also fouled up and back, same spot. This time less loud. Very much appreciated there. So now a ball and two strikes to Fallon Hall. Here's the pitch from Gee. Defensive swing. And it's lifted over on the third base side and caught. Nice play that time from Marlene rodriguez Miche to get the second out of the inning. Got a good jump on it. Call that a pop out to five. Now Abby Abraham, first time up, also singled. So this one gets off the glove of the pitcher. It's a weak grounder, and everyone will be safe. So Abraham reaches once again via an infield single. Runners advance back now to third. Sullivan there at second base. Lineup turns over. Arley Torres, Arley Torres steps into the box. She's two for two with two singles. Now two outs, base is juiced. Misses high, they try to get the throw back to third. Would have been the second inning that would end via pickoff at third base. The one out to Torres. She watches ball two. back to the mound. Torres early on that one. First strike. One ball, two strikes to the Lady Bears second baseman. Trying to extend that lead. It's already one run. Up near 50 pitches now for Gee. The 2-1. Ball three. Throw over. Not in time. A walk, 
Wood score the run. 3-1 pitch. That one's hit over the infield. Shortstop can't get there. Runner will round third, and two runs will score there. So on the bloop single, Beck and Sullivan will score. Sullivan scoring from second. Abraham, she's just up to, to second. Torres, that's her third single of the ball game, brings up Myra Robles, the pitcher. She's 0 for 2 with a strikeout. Makes it 7 to 4 game here. No balls in a strike now to Robles. That one's hit weakly to third. The throw over is in time. So that'll do it, but not before two runs score on four hits for the Lady Bears. Makes it a 7-4 to four ball game. We head to the bottom of the third. Due up 3, 4, and 5 for the Mustangs. You're listening to Maynard Softball on Vibe Live. We'll be right back. Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VibeBYPE.com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3-13, about yet another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives in the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh, my God, it went in. Cavaliers pull ahead by one. Log on to VibeBYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vibevype.com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Bottom third. Marlene Rodriguez Miche leading things off here. Two runs plated for Lady Bears as this one's grounded to third. It gets under the glove. Throw over is not in time. We'll call that a leadoff single for Marlene Rodriguez Miche. Brings up Destiny Ruffin. For Destiny Ruffin. Destiny. Playing first base today. No, excuse me, second base today. So for one. Strike one. This one's hit into the air. Right off the glove. The Lady Bears first baseman, so everyone will be safe. Rodriguez Miche steps back. So now 0-2 to Ruffin. Fouls this one back. Stays alive, still no outs. Basta on deck for Maynard. So this one's hit through the infield. Runner will be safe at second base, but that's where she'll stay. Moore couldn't get over to that one. 
she get off, gets off to some great jumps in the infield. You can definitely see why they play her at shortstop. But yeah, Rodriguez, Michi going to move to um, second base. Ruffin gets on there with the single, brings up Basta. Her first time up, she led off the second inning. She got a single, and she came all the way around to score the second run of the ball game for the Mustangs. See if she can keep her productive productivity tonight going. She gets the bunt down. Got away from Salinas. Runner's going to come around and try and score from third. She will. So Maynard gets one back. And that's another RBI. So Basta reaches. Ruffin makes her way to second. Rodriguez Miche comes all the way around to score from second. So Basta on first, Ruffin on second. One run scores. Ball one. Now 7-5. Gomez at the plate now. Currently dealing with a 1-0 count. Flew out to right field her first time up. Takes pitch number two for a ball as well. This one hit into the air. Runner has to go. Now throw home. I think everybody's safe. I don't think they got the tag on, on Basta. You have to throw over to second base there. Could have got the force, but no. Everyone's safe, and another run scores. This Ruffin came all the way around to the plate. Boston moves to second. And Gomez is on first. So two hits. And two runs now in the inning. Excuse me, four hits and two runs now in the inning. And everyone's gotten a hit here. Still nobody out. Left fielder, junior, number one, Iris Jimenez. So Jimenez now at the plate. She singled and came around to score in the second inning. She's playing out in left field this fine evening. Two on, nobody out. She's going to try and get the bunt down. She does. Throw over to third is in time. Good heads up play to get the lead runner there. It was still a very good bunt, but Robles got a good jump off the mound, saw it coming. So Basta gets, at, gets the out at third. Jimenez safe at first. Gomez still up there at second base now. Brings Valdez to the plate. Smeralda, she's one for one today with a single of her own. She also came around to score in the second inning. Mustang still trail here. She tries to get the bunt down. She does, gets it over to the first base side. They throw over and get her at first. So two outs now, but the runners do advance. So a sack bunt. Pitcher, no, senior number three, Alexis Gee. So Valdez is out number two with the sack bunt. Brings up pitcher Gee her first time up. She lined out to the pitcher. Two away. Swung on, hit to short. Got away from the shortstop. Runner safe at home and at first. So Gee there with an RBI. Reaches on the infield single. We have a tie game. Top of the lineup, center fielder, freshman, number five, Jamie Gomez. Brings up the top of the lineup in the eighth hitter of the inning for the Maynard Mustangs. Gomez, one for two with a couple RBI. Two on, two outs. 7-7. Seven, seven. 
Robles delivers. That one's chopped to third. Throw over is low, but getting the pick is Salinas. Nice play from her at first base to end the inning. But not before. Manor Mustangs tie things up at seven. We head into the fourth inning. Believe it will be three, four, five hitters due up once again for the Lady Bears. We're going to go ahead and take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll have that for you. You're listening to Maynard Softball on Vibe Live. Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at VibeVYPE.com. Vibe is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 3 13, not yet another. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone, touchdown Rangers! 16 seconds, really close up the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my god, it went in! Cavaliers pull a hit by one! Log on to VibeVYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vibevype.com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, VYPE.com. VYPE.com. We've got a tie ball game heading into the fourth inning. Bottom of the third, three runs scored for Maynard. On four hits. This one's popped high on the infield. Ranging over to make that play. Number two, Mia Gomez at shortstop. So Salinas, aggressive, pops out on the first pitch for out number one. We're all tied up here. Far cry from how everyone was feeling in the end of the top of the first. 7-2 run now for Maynard. First pitch to the at-bat lifted high into the outfield and caught at the fence. Center fielder number five, Jamie Gomez. Not a lot more room that she could have gone back on that one. Mariah Moore got a hold of that one and hit it a long way. That's a fly out to eight, though. Out number two, very quick, two outs for Gee here. Brings up Melody Beck. She's two for two with a pair of singles. She also has scored a pair of runs. It's been a tough day to get her out. Mariah Moore trying to add the homer to her cycle bid. She's already got a single and a double. She was caught trying to stretch that double into a triple, though. That was in the third inning. Excuse me, that was in the second inning. Is That one's hit well and into the gap. Between shortstop and the third baseman goes to left field. So another single. Melody's three for three. And great day continues for her. Number six, Caitlin Barrington. Caitlin Barrington now at the plate for the Lady Bears. Caitlin one for two with a single in the first inning. The last time up in the third, she lined out to short. This is a routine grounder to second base and put away. So a very quick inning as the Lady Bears strand one on one hit but scored no runs. Maynard will head back to the plate and try and take their first lead of the ball game. Mia Macias be the leadoff spot in the bottom of the fourth. You are listening to Maynard Softball and Vibe Live. We're going to take a quick break. Be right back. Yeah. 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 
down Ryder Hernandez on fourth and two from the 17. Sure, Vibe Sports brings you the best in area high school football, but Vibe brings you exciting high school volleyball action. Dive in the middle for the back row. Here comes James and gets the kill. Vibe brings you walk-off home runs on the diamond. Line drive, deep to left. It is going and it is gone. From lacrosse to the pitch to the court and more, the leader in high school sports coverage is Vibe Sports. BYP. Hey buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to VIPEBYPE.com and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at VIPEBYPE.com. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We are here for the bottom of the fourth. Mustangs looking to take their first lead of the ball game, and they'll have a great opportunity to do it with two, three, four hitters here. Before we get going here, just want to give everyone a quick reminder that you can get free shipping on your favorite brands at academy.com or get free curbside or in-store pickup at your Academy store. First pitch swinging. This one's lifted high but playable into center field. Not quite as deep as Mariah Moore's hit there, but some very solid contact there for Macias. Third baseman, junior, number 13, Marlene Rodriguez Miche. Brings up Rodriguez Miche. She's one for two with a single and a run scored. First time up in the first inning. Grounded out to third base. This one's lifted high to center field, so busy inning for that Lady Bears outfield. Quickly, two outs. Robles still on the mound for the Lady Bears. So two fly outs to center. Second baseman, freshman, number 14, Destiny Ruffin. Brings up the freshman, Destiny Ruffin. She's got a single. She's one for two. That one misses ball one. The 1-0. That one's hit to third, but foul. We're often looking at a 1-1 count here. Robles back to the rubber. The 1-1. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Ruffin now down in the count with two outs here. That's strike three. Very quick inning in the fourth for both teams. Three up, three down. We head to the top of the fifth. No runners score on no hits in that one for the Mustangs. It's just the first strikeout of the game for Robles there. We head to the fifth. Seven, eight, nine hitters due up for the Lady Bears. We're at a pretty good pace there. And then both teams got out of the fourth inning in about five pitches each. Gee heads back to the mound for another outing here, or another inning of work here, I should say. She's also sitting on just one strike out there. That was the second batter of the game. Got Robles there. Will be Kaylee Sullivan to lead things off. She's playing at third base for the Lady Bears this afternoon. She's two for two, also with two singles. Only one extra base hit for either team in the ball game. It was Mariah Moore with all that power, of course, hitting from the four spot.
meeting at the mound for this Mustang infield. Leading off for the Bears, 17, Kaylee Sullivan. So here's Sullivan, right-handed batter. He hasn't been able to get her out yet. First pitch misses outside for a ball. That's a sw big swing for Sullivan. Couldn't find the contact there. It's a first strike. Hall on deck for the Lady Bears. That one's fouled back. And every time you see that ball get fouled back towards you, it's hard not to flinch a little bit. Not a couple of those. More than I'd like to, to, uh, to admit here, honestly. That one got away from her, but that's another strikeout. So second strikeout for Gee. This time it's Sullivan. We mentioned before, brings up Fallon Hall. Fallon is 1-4-2 with a single. Popped out her last time up, and uh, her first time when she did reach, she was uh, picked off at third base, and that ended that rough first inning for the Mustangs. And since then, they've had a much better handle on things as that first pitch misses for a ball. One out, score even at seven. Two zero. Hitters count. Tied inside. It's three zero. Imagine Fallon's going to be taken here all the way. Abby, Abby Abraham, excuse me, the on deck hitter for the Lady Bears. She's two for two. Three zero swung on. That's a single to left center field. She'll round the bag, head to second, and she's in there for a stand-up double. Second extra base hit of the ball game for the Lady Bears. Mustangs have about a billion singles, but haven't been able to get much more than that. It is 7-7, though. Abby Abraham, Heron's that runner there at first base. She fouls that one back. Strike one. One on, one out. Top five. Top of the order will turn over after this hitter here. Is that one's looks like it just got the, the grip of the bat there almost. A little defensive swing. She's down 0 2. Torres on deck. Three for three. The O2 is high, ball one. Got plenty of extra space to work with here if you're Gee. Oh, she is getting up there in pitches. Got her strike three. Catcher couldn't come up with it, but the throw on the way to first is in time. So two outs on two Ks in this top of the fifth inning. Brings up Arlie Torres. She has singled all three times that she has touched the plate, but she's only gotten past first base once in the first inning when she came around to score. But this one, she lifts high to left field, getting underneath it and making the play is Iris Jimenez. That's out number three. So one runner stranded there for the Lady Bears on one hit. No runners score. We head to the bottom of the fifth. The Mustangs will once again get another crack at the lead. I believe they've got five, six, seven hitters, so Katrina Basta will be the leadoff man or leadoff hitter for the Mustangs. Gonna go ahead and once again take a quick break. We will be right back.
Bike Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at BikeBYPE.com. Bike is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 13, not yet another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close at the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull a hit by one. Logo to BikeBYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vibevype.com. Basta getting her third at bat of the game here. She's two for two. She's got a pair of singles. Run scored in the second. Victim of a fielder's choice. She was tagged out at third base in the third. First pitch swung on, hit high into the air to shallow center. Coming up for it, making the play. Out number one. So all of a sudden, nobody can really get a hit here. Nobody can, or rather, no one can get a lot of string of hits here. We've got a very volatile first three innings. Now we're getting a lot of first pitch outs. First three innings were about 55 minutes. The last two innings have been about 15. We are here now in the bottom of the fifth. This one's hit high to left field, playable. And that's it for out number two. So we'll fly out to center and a fly out to left. Iris Jimenez hopefully won't pop out to right. Left field junior, number one, Iris Jimenez. Would be, a, honestly, would be pretty impressive if she did manage to fly out to right. Have to go the opposite way with that. So here's the first pitch to her. She takes it for a ball. Count even up at one and one here. Menez pops it up, shallow two pitcher, and that'll do it. A one, two, three inning for Myra Robles. Just a six pitch inning that time. Really cutting down on it. These pitchers must be paying attention to their pitch counts. That brings up the top of the sixth. It is still seven to seven as the scoring has slowed all the way down. Myra Robles will be the leadoff hitter for the Lady Bears. We'll go ahead and uh, keep it here for now. Ever since uh, the end of the third inning, Gee has really uh, found her control. And uh, in the fourth and fifth inning, Gee only gave up two hits, a single and a double. They were both stranded there. Got a couple of good fly ball outs and two strikeouts here. In these last two innings, she's back out on the mound for another inning of work. Rather, in the circle for another inning of work. Brings up Robles. She will be 0 for 3 in the game so far. Last time up in the third inning, she grounded out to third base. It was the third out of the inning. But now we go top six.
Letting out for the Bears, number 12, Myra Robles. Robles, one of the three strikeout victims for Alexis Gee today. She takes pitch number one way outside for a ball. So we are getting into crunch time here. So this one's hit well, but playable. That's another quick out number one. Nice play in center field. Go over and get that one for Jamie Gomez. He's been more active here in the later half of the game. So one out again. Brings up Mariah Moore. Last time she was up, she launched one into center field. It's about two steps from the fence. Otherwise, she is uh, one for or two for three, I should say. First two at bats, she reached with a single and a double. Oh no! Excuse me. This is Salinas here. More the four hitter. So more on deck. Salinas up now. And Salinas is looking at a 1-1. With one out, nobody on. This one's hit well. And that'll get down in left field. Well played by Jimenez there, not trying to gamble and go get that one. That would have rolled back to the fence. She just let it bounce. Before that, Salinas just, well, she was 0 for 3. She did reach in the first inning via fielder's choice, but now 1 for 4 to her. Moore takes the first pitch for a ball. Be careful around her. Here's Mariah Moore. 2 0. Lexis Gee trying to avoid surrendering the lead here in the top of the sixth. This one's chopped through the infield. Got right by the third baseman. Now two runners aboard with one out. Moore's hot uh, hitting day continues. Salinas only able to move up one bag, though. Brings up Melody Beck. She's been another tough out today. She's three for three with three singles, two runs scored. Gee delivers, that one's chopped up the middle. Steps on second for one, no throw over to first. So that'll just be a uh, fielder's choice there. For Melody Beck, that's her first uh, non-base hit. Mariah Moore will have to make her way off the base path. She's got the force out at second. Meeting at the mound concludes. Runners at the corners with two outs. Brings up Caitlin Barrington. Caitlin is just one for three today. She had a single in the first, came around to score that inning as well. But in the third and fourth, she registered outs. This one's hit high to left field, but an easy out. And Gee gets out of a jam. So no run score on a couple of hits. We head to the bottom of the sixth inning. It will be Esmeralda Valdez to lead things off for Maynard. It's the 8-9-1 hitters. So great opportunity here to get that go-ahead run on the board in the bottom of the sixth inning. We're going to go ahead and take one more break. We'll be right back. 
Fight Live, formerly KMAX Sports, one of the largest broadcast networks in Texas and the nation. Check us out at FightBYPE.com. Fight is the leader in high school sports broadcasts. We've been doing it for 15 years. 313, again, another reverse. Breaking tackles, dives to the end zone. Touchdown, Rangers. 16 seconds, really close at the corner. Rotates to Wilson, she fires the three. Oh my God, it went in! Cavaliers pull a hit by one. Log on to FightBYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vibevype.com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Hey buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to VIPEVYPE.com and hit Find Your School to see what Vibe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vibe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at VIPEVYPE.com. Right back into the action. First pitch swinging is a pop-up to second base. Gets Valdez for out number one. You're here in the bottom of the sixth. Game still tied. It's a great opportunity here for the Mustangs as they got 8-9-1 hitters due up here, which of course means if they go down in order 1-2-3, that's the 2-3-4 hitters due up in the bottom of the seventh. But Gee lifts this one into center field. And that's two pitches, two outs in the bottom of the sixth for the Mustangs. Here's the top of the order. It's Gomez's turn. She's one for three. She had a two RBI single in the second inning. The first pitch to her is a swing and a miss for strike one. The 0-1, it's fouled back, strike two. Heck of a sixth inning so far for Myra Robles. Her and Gee have both settled in marvelously. Her sense getting rocked a little bit there in the first couple innings. Robles with 1K, but she's faced zero batters over the minimum since the third inning. Three up, three down, three up, three down in the fourth and fifth. And now here in the bottom of the sixth, two outs. Two up, two down. And the third hitter is down 0-2. This one's hit into the air. Playable. It's going to be tough, though, and that'll land foul. It's right there on the line on the right field line. No way that the right fielder Shelby Downey would have been able to make it over for it. So Gomez does stay alive. It's 0-2. Robles back to the rubber. Here's the pitch. That's right back to her. Comebacker. First base. Inning over. So another one, two, three inning for Robles. It's her third straight. We head top seven. No one able to break this tie here. We've got a great one here for you tonight on the Vibe Live Network. Head to top seven in just a moment. I'm going to take another break. We'll be right back. 
You're listening to Mainer Softball on Vibe Live. Hey, buddy, you say you wish someone was covering your favorite high school sports teams? You just couldn't make it to the game and you need to find out now what's going on? Well, my friend, your prayers are answered. Go to Vipe, B-Y-P-E dot com and hit Find Your School to see what Vipe is saying about your great community. See for yourself why Vipe is the leader in high school sports coverage in Texas. Check us out at Vipe, B-Y-P-E dot com. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vipe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe, V-Y-P-E dot com. V-Y-P-E dot com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcasts. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vipevype.com. Here in the seventh inning, Kaylee Sullivan, leadoff hitter. She's already down 0-1. Now she chops this one. That's going to be foul ball. It's 0-2. It's a good opportunity here to get out of it for Alexis Gee. She's out there to make this a complete game seven-inning outing for herself. And it's the seven, eight, nine hitters, which in the top of the seventh, of course, in high school, that's a that's a great that's a great thing to see if you're having to deal with the seven, eight, nine hitters to end things, but. Seven, eight, nine hitters are four and six as this one's popped up in the infield. Catcher can't quite make the play. Into foul territory, had to lay out for it. Couldn't make the grab, but as I was saying, the seven, eight, nine hitters in this game for the Lady Bears are six for nine. With, uh, <laughs> with six singles and a couple strikeouts. As this one's hit through the infield, shortstop out of position there to make that play. And we got the leadoff man on for the Lady Bears in the seventh inning. So they're continuing to get great production from the bottom of this lineup. Fallon Hall, she's also two for three in the game. Kaylee Sullivan makes it three for four with just one strikeout for her. As this one's hit to short, got her, they try to go to second, but it gets away, that's gonna go to right field. Runner will advance to third, but the runner, Fallon Hall will have to stay there at first, so. I would say Fallon Hall grounds into a fielder's choice. Put an error in the field. Sullivan. Moves up to third base, so now runners at the corners with nobody out. Top seven. It was a rough fielding inning in the first, which led to that 5-0 spurt, but this defense has settled in very nicely. Everyone making the right plays, but now starting to unravel here late. This one's hit foul. For Abby Abraham, of course, she's also two for three with two singles and a strikeout. She's down 0-1 on the count now. The 0-1, that's hit high but playable on the infield to short. Out number one. Abby Abraham pops up and out to short. So runners have to stay where they're at. Sullivan at third, Hall at first, Arlie Torres, she's back. Arlie, another problem for the Maynard Mustangs here. She is three for four, three singles, but her last time up, she did fly out to left. Tries to get the bunt down here. 
run they try to advance the runner. It looks like they almost got her, but it gets away into the outfield. She'll have to stay, but that means all runners are safe. And that's just good base running there for Sullivan. Stressed out the left side of that infield long enough for Torres to reach. So Torres is another three for four candidate here. Robles steps in. She's 0 for 4. So with one out in the seventh, the line of pass turned over. Torres, the leadoff hitter, reaches. Now the bases are juiced with just one out. Robles, Salinas, and more next three hitters if we get there, of course. But Robles at the plate now. Salinas on deck. That's outside. Throw back. Not in time. Sun starting to make its way down here as we wind this game down a little bit. That's swing and a miss for strike two. Big spot here for Gee. She's got three strikeouts in the game, but she hasn't struck a batter out since the fifth inning. That one misses for ball two. Sumiso now two and one to Robles. That one's hit high and out of play back towards us. Foul ball. Counts two and two now. He's got still a little bit of room to work with. You got to force out anywhere. Staying alive, fouled off, out of play. It's the age-old tradition of the kids in the stands sprinting after those loose balls. So two balls, two strikes, we're ready to go. Got the ball back to the pitcher. Robles at the plate. She fouls off the two twos, doing a great job staying in this thing. Of course, not too much room now. Two balls, two strikes. And of course, a walk or a hit by pitch would score the Go ahead, run. And the way Robles is pitching, don't want to let that happen. She hits this one, pops it up. And that's out number two, a big one. Destiny Ruffin in there to come forward and get the pop out. So Robles makes out number two. She's over for 5 today. She pops out to 5. Brings up Christina Salinas. She's just one for four today with a single in the sixth. She looks at that one for strike one. Here's Gee, the 0 1. Misses high for ball one. First inning, Salinas reached on a on an E5. That one's lined in a great heads-up play to make the out at third base for Rodriguez Miche. That one hit right to her face. She didn't have to move. Great job from her getting the glove up to make that final out in a huge, huge play from Alexis Gee to get out of that stranding. The bases loaded in the top of the seventh inning. Wow, how about that? So with the bases loaded, we can't get anything. And we'll have one more opportunity here in the bottom of the seventh. 
it will be a great opportunity for the Mustangs. Two, three, four hitters do up to try and close this thing out. Robles back on the mound for her final crack at it in the seventh inning. Going to try and extend this thing here. Of course, don't want to be playing extras if you're the Mustangs. Macias will be the leadoff hitter. She's one for three. Had a single in the first. She came around to score the lone run that the Mustangs scored in the first inning. Here's Macias. Need to get one in here to end it. Here we go, bottom seven. It's been an exciting game tonight. This first pitch chopped to third base. The throw over is in time, out number one. Having second, third base, junior, number 13, Marlene Rodriguez Miche. Rodriguez Miche steps to the plate now. She is one for three with a single in the third inning. Came around to score a run in that one too. She hits this one. That's, well, directly to the center fielder and out number two. Looks like we might have extras. But not if Destiny Ruffin has anything to say about it. She steps to the plate. Second baseman, freshman, number one for three. Destiny Ruffin. First pitch, swung on, fouled back. The 0 1. Strike two. Fouled off. She'll stay alive. Hits that one into the batting cages. Is the 0-2 to Ruffin. Robles. Ball one. This one's hit. That'll get through the infield. Over the glove of Moore. And so Mustang's still alive. Second hit of the game for Ruffin brings up Basta. Basta. It's two for three in the game. Two singles. Scored a run in the third in the second. Two on, one out. Or excuse me, one on two outs, other way around. Robles back to the mound. Umpire making his way back to the home plate. First pitch on the way to Basta. She swings, pops this up to first base, and that's out number three. So Robles has just faced one batter over the minimum over the last four innings. Looks like we might... Still getting word here. All the teams have uh, huddled up here. I'm assuming we're going to the top of the eighth, of course. Boston makes the final out there in the seventh inning. 
So we are going to head to the eighth. So we'll see if there are uh, any rule changes here, any uh, unique rules to the high school ranks. But for now, it looks like we're just playing a classic eighth inning. Like it's the majors. Gee, back on the mound once again. She'll have to take a few days off after this one. More to lead off. She's dangerous. Three for four today. We are into the eighth inning. One's a roller down the third base line. It rolls foul, so strike one. The 0 1. And that's tattooed into center field. It's going to get all the way to the fence. Moore rounding second. She's going to head all the way to third base. Oh, but she stumbled and a good call to come back. So a, a leadoff double opens things up and extras. If you remember, back in the Second inning, Moore was gunned down at third base trying to stretch a double into a triple. Learned her lesson. Brings up Melody Beck. She's three for four, grounded into a fielder's choice. So she's reached at least on all of uh, her plate appearances. But still, three for four with three singles. She's scored two runs, so she's only made one out today. 1-0. Misses for a ball. Nobody back there covering second base. So Moore doesn't really have to go back after she takes these big leads at all. So this one's hit high to right field, ranging over for it and making the catch, but tagging from third. So now one out with a runner on third. And the fly out to right. For Melody back, good job for Katrina Basta, ranging over to grab that one. Got it underhanded. But that will bring up number six, Caitlin Barrington. She's one for four, singled in the first inning, but has been quiet since. This one she grounds to second. Can't get her. Lost the ball, the run scores. Lady Bears have the lead. It was a good play, run would have scored no matter what, but now you don't get the out. And that last one, that's Gee's 100th pitch. So now, 101 and on, going forward. Scores now 8-7, to seven, this time in favor of the Lady Bears. As that one's in for a strike. Sullivan down 0-2 with one out. One runner on first base. Caitlin Barrington with the go-ahead RBI may prove to be the game winner. We shall see. Of course, this inning not over. Still need two more outs before you can get thinking about tying it up and getting the victory in the bottom of the eighth. So we've got a beautiful sunset over to our west here. Swing and a miss, strike three, got her.
So one on, two out, swing and a miss to Hall. Strike one. Hit the third. Playable. The throw skips in is caught. So out number three is good, but not before Bastrop takes the lead. We head to the bottom of the eighth. One more chance, three more outs for the Maynard Mustangs. We will be right back. For high school sports coverage second to none, discriminating sports fans, booster clubs, and student bodies will tell you, Vibe stands above the rest. Vibe can provide your school and your entire school district with complete digital video streaming and live broadcast coverage at prices that fit your budget. Find out more information at Vibe. VYPE.com. VYPE.com. Vibe Live, the leader in high school sports broadcast. Wait, hold on just a moment. It's true that Vibe Live, formerly KMAX Sports, excels at high school sports broadcasts, but did you know that Vibe Live does more than sports? Vibe Live does band recitals, academic events. For more information on how Vibe Live can broadcast your event, email us at vipevype.com. Robles back to the mound for one more inning. Three more outs. She'll get the complete game victory here. <laughs> Up, Big night for baseball. Texas two, and Texas A&M yeah, getting together for a game tonight. Don't get that rivalry going too often anymore. Here's the first pitch. It misses high. Mia Gomez at the plate, trying to make something happen in her leadoff roll. Grounds it to short. Picked backhanded, but no throw. So leadoff hitter on, Mia Gomez. This game's definitely not over as Iris Jimenez steps to the plate. Mia now two for four on the day. A couple singles, scored a run in the third inning. Iris also one for three right now. He's going to try to make it a good two for four. In the seventh spot. Bunt down, fouled off. No balls in a strike. Delivery, that's popped up. Will it stay in play? It will, that's out number one. Excellent job ranging over to make that play in foul territory for Christina Salinas. One away. Runner stays at first. And the pop out to first. Valdez steps into the box. He's also got one hit in the game. It's a single in the second, came around to score. Next time up, got down a sacrifice bunt. Last time up was in the sixth inning. She popped out to second base. This one, she swings, and that's going to be in over the infield. And the Mustangs are going to have two on with one out. Valdez got good contact there. Gomez heads to second base. So here's Gee. Hit well. Will it get down? It will, and that's going to roll all the way to the fence. Runner should score here as they waver around, gets to second. 
So tie game. Runners on second and third. Valdez looked like she may have had an opportunity to try and force it home, but instead she'll just take the third base. And Alexis Gee, who's pitched well all day, ties the game up in the bottom of the eighth inning. So here with a walk-off opportunity is Jamie Gomez. A one-out double for Alexis Gee. She's two for four today. Lineup turns over. And we may have a pitching change here for the final, well, final two outs. Meeting at the mound here for the Lady Bears. Two straight hits. Now Gomez with a walk-off opportunity here in the bottom of the eighth inning. No pitching change. Just a strategy discussion. Jamie Gomez. She is... Just one for four today, but he does have two RBIs for her one single. She could be the hero of the game right here. Hits this one well, and she'll do it. Ball game. Jamie Gomez gets it over the head of the infield. Runner comes home. It's 9-8. to eight. Jamie Gomez, the game winner. <laughs> She's mopped by her teammates over there at first base. What a final play for her. So final score there right on your screen. It's 9-8 to eight in eight innings. Lady Mustangs get the victory here. That'll do it for us here on Vipe Live. I have been Jack Farrell joined by my QA, Rosie Bega. Thankful for all she does and all she did to keep the broadcast swimming here like to thank the fine folks at Academy Sports and Outdoors for sponsoring the broadcast tonight. For all the ways you love to play, Academy Sports and Outdoors makes it easier than ever to gear up and have fun out there. I've been Jack Farrell. It's been a pleasure broadcasting for you tonight. Hope you all have a great night and a great rest of your week. Good night, everyone.